a long time ago in the ancient kingdom of Sukhothai. Over 700 years ago, the first capital of the Thai nation of Sukhothai was established during the reign of King Ramgamhang, inventor of the Thai alphabet, which is still used today. The Sukhothai and Si Sachinalai historical parks are rich in history, culture, arts, and architecture, and have been granted World Heritage Status by UNESCO. This ancient city is a source of happiness and pride for all Thai people, just as the name Sukhothai means, the dawn of happiness. Welcome to the land of smile, Thailand. Please welcome our beautiful contestants from 85 countries to Miss Grand International 2014. And now it's time to introduce these lovely ladies in their national costumes. I'm Vivian Sanai from Albania. Nadina Ashina from Argentina. Renera Thompson, Australia. Sara de Grove, Belgium. Camila Lefer, Bolivia. Alma Yassi, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Lillian Molosa, Botswana. Yamem Ibrahim, I am from Brazil. Lutam Sainir Pemode. Ladysia from Cameroon. Catherine Cahoot, Canada. Carla Wobet, Chile. Han Xue, China. Monica Castaño, Colombia. Daniel Casada, Costa Rica. Liz Darian Garcia, Cuba. Silvian Curacao. Yana Zapotalova, Czech Republic. Germania Martinez, Dominican Republic. Irene Zavala, Ecuador. Maria Raya, Estonia. Iwet Bekele, Ethiopia. Sanna Kaisa Sari, Finland. Nauma Julia, France. Johanna Ach, Germany. Anastasia Terzi, Greece. Naomi Jean Paris Santis, Guam. Lisa Gerlard, Haiti. Mo Nishi, Hong Kong. Rika Lucas from Hungary. Monica Sharma from India. Arjini Vinarti, Indonesia. Bahare, Iran. Odaya from Israel. We club Amusa Ivico. Mieko Takeuchi, Japan. Aidana Yilimeswa, Kazakhstan. Kewan Jong, Korea. Naila Thachi, Kosovo. Dalia Hassan, Kurdistan. Elian Kurdi, Lebanon. Corinne Semedo Furtado, Luxembourg. Matilda Ip, Macau. Jane Cook, Malaysia. Diana Lakatic, Malta. Dejari Charan, Mauritius. Marcia Ramirez from Mexico. Brita Batokto, Mongolia. Emta Sai, Myanmar. 
Srizana Regni from Nepal. Francis Avram from the Netherlands. Madison White, New Zealand. Alejandra Gross, Nicaragua. Tessie Bibowe, Nigeria. Carlin Winter, Norway. Lela Khan, Pakistan. Carmen Librada de Gracia, Panamá. Gisela Sotomayor, Paraguay. Sofía Enero, Perú. Kimberly Carlson, Philippines. Angelica Ogrizek, Poland. Emil Arush, Portugal. Rebeca Valentín, Puerto Rico. Delia Duca, Romania. Yana, Russia. Renee Longova, Samoa. Jesslyn, Singapore. Veronika Yanisova, Slovak Republic. Diana Steven, South Sudan. La Fere Utado, Spain. Asanki, Sri Lanka. Kaylee Christine Shallow, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Tashana Losha Sri Nava. Camila Oliveira, Sweden. Kotuarit E Tahiti. Kiki Chen, Taiwan. Lauren Clement, Tanzania. Parapasan, Dikdamrong, Thailand. Nadia Karpluk, Ukraine. Georgia Smith, United Kingdom. Sarah Platt, USA. Wilma Chandy, US Virgin Islands. Alex Sosa, Venezuela. Quillen Gao, Vietnam. Lily Chapamba, Zimbabwe. And the best national costume award goes to Miss Vietnam.
Gentlemen, and welcome to Miss Grand International 2014 Final Night. My name is Matthew Dean, and I'm Sonia Cooling, and we're broadcasting to you live from Bangkok, Thailand. First of all, tonight I'd like to give a big congratulations to the Best National Costume Award, which is Miss Vietnam. Congratulations. Yes, a big congratulations to Vietnam. Now this year we have 85 contestants from all over the world. And I have to say they're absolutely beautiful. They have been in Thailand for the last couple of weeks doing various activities and also gaining various awards, which we will see later on this evening. Tonight, we will crown Miss Grand International 2014. We certainly will. As we know, the Miss Grand International is a search for the uh, most fabulous beauty queen who has the complete package. Beauty, personality, and brains. It's someone who's ready to work with our organization and do her duty for our advocacy, which is stop the war and aim to stop all kinds of violence and all types of conflict around the world. Yes, and before we start, I would like to thank our lovely sponsors. A big thank you to the Tourism Authority of Thailand, Mueang Thai Life Assurance Public Company Limited, our beautiful dresses by Ram Sita. Thank you to all of our sponsors. And guys, we are just about to find out who our top 20 finalists are. So guys, don't go away and see you right after this break. Tourism Authorities of Thailand. Mueang Thai Life Assurance, Public Company Limited. Sukhothai Province. Bangkok Airways, Asia's Boutique Airline. Novotel Suwanapum Airport Hotel. 85 beautiful contestants, each representing their nations from around the world, have traveled here with their dreams and the goal of winning the contest. After their long journey, all our beautiful contestants get a chance for some rest and relaxation at Novotel Tuanapum Airport to prepare themselves for their next activity. First is taking photos to introduce themselves to all viewers. Next, all the contestants from 85 nations attend the press conference to officially launch the event at Suwanapum Airport. With a special surprise from sponsor, Mueang Thai Life Insurance. With gifts of insurance policies and teddy bears representing 85 nations to every Miss Grand International 2014 contestant. Welcome back to Miss Grand International 2014, guys. Those are just some of the exciting activities that all of our contestants have been participating in in Thailand. 
It looks like so much fun. And I'm sure everybody out here is absolutely eager to find out who our top 20 finalists are. Now, before we do that, please let me thank the sponsors, because without them, these activities would not have been possible. A big thank you to Sukhothai Thai Province, Bangkok Airways, Asia Boutique Airline, Singer Corporation, and Novotel Suwanapum Hotel. Thank you to all of our lovely sponsors. I think it is time that we find out who our top 20 finalists are. You guys wanna know? Are you ready? All right. We'll be announcing all top 20 finalists in no particular order. So, let's start. Our top 20 finalist is Australia! Mexico! Ukraine! Congratulations, Russia! United Kingdom Puerto Rico! Ethiopia! And our very home girl, Thailand. Israel! Congratulations to Indonesia! Well done, Haiti!
Brazil. Cuba! Venezuela! Japan! Congratulations to Poland! Congratulations to Canada! And last but not least, Peru! Ladies and gentlemen, our top 20 finalists. A big round of applause. Congratulations. Well done, guys. Lovely, lovely. Congratulations again to all of our top 20 finalists. We'll be seeing more of them very soon. And all of the ladies, we'll be seeing them again very soon. But right now, we've got a short video clip of some of the activities the ladies have been doing in Thailand. So let's enjoy this clip. All contestants travel from Bangkok to Sukhothai on Bangkok Airways, Asia's boutique airline. Sukhothai, the birthplace of the Thai Kingdom and home to breathtaking ancient architecture and world heritage, is where our beautiful contestants participate in the activities of Miss Grand International 2014. where they are all greeted with a warm welcome filled with unforgettable smiles and friendship. Activities begin with a tour of Tsukotai Historical Park with its many important ancient sites and recipient of World Heritage Status from UNESCO. All of our beautiful contestants were extremely impressed by the splendor of the historical sites and the rich cultural and artistic heritage. Now I think um, the feeling inside to um, motivate and to have the power is really important. There you have it, plenty to do in Thailand, especially Sukhothai, which is the first capital of Thailand. Simply amazing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to our distinguished panel of judges here. 
First up, this gentleman has come from far away, all the way to Thailand, to make great relationships between Thailand and Peru. Please give a warm welcome to His Excellency Ambassador Felix De Necri of the Federal Republic of Peru. Our next judge is one of the most popular chefs for Thai cuisine and is known for beautiful restaurants all around the world. The founder of Blue Elephant Group, please welcome Chef Nuro Somani Stepe. Next up is one of Thailand's favorite actresses from BBTV Channel 7 Thailand. Please welcome Miss Kan Klao, Doi Sin Klao. Our next judge is the man behind the success of fashion shows on TV around the world, the artistic director and media producer for Fashion TV, Mr. Zev Manor. Our next judge is simply an expert on beauty. She's the owner of a world-class surgery center. Please welcome Miss Silly Pen Pansi Tum, the owner of Gamon Cosmetic Hospital. And our last distinguished judge for this evening, for car lovers, this gentleman is an expert in the automotive industry. From Dieters, Mr. Carsten Muller. Thank you again to all of our judges here. Thank you. Right now we're going to take a quick break and when we come back, the most awaited part of this competition, the swimsuit competition. I hang can't on. Wait. Hang on, Matthew. <laughs> we'll take a break. See you guys soon. Sing Corporation. What is that clinic? Cover mark Moisture Veil LX. At Suko Thai Province. All of our beautiful contestants take part in an activity considered the greatest art form Suko Thai has to offer. Ban Thong Som Samai is the ancient legend of exquisite works of Suko Thai art. Next stop, the ancient silversmith shop, renowned for its Si Satanalai silverware where the ladies were impressed by its beauty and fine craftsmanship. Then, our beautiful contestants visited Suntri Thai Textiles, where they still weave cloth the ancient Thai way. The contestants all enjoyed this memorable experience of exquisite Thai textiles, and the ladies had a chance to try on these beautiful Thai traditional costumes. After that, our contestants traveled to Si Satanalai Historical Park to admire the beautiful architecture of its historical sites. Rounding off the final activity with an extravagant lights and sound show. The legend of beautiful and magnificent Sukhothai Ancient Kingdom. I'm so very excited. The show is amazing. I love Thailand. Welcome back to Miss Grand International 2014. Now, before we see these lovely ladies in their beautiful swimsuits, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, Wutisak Clinic, Ma Singh, the contestant makeup by Covermark, BSC Swimwear, and the beautiful shoes from Patanasin. Now, before we see this exciting, exciting event, the one that we've all been waiting for, we will be seeing all of our ladies in their swimsuits just before we see our top 10 finalists, and then we'll be announcing the top 10 finalists very soon. So, let's meet all of our other contestants in their swimsuits. Take it away, ladies!
First up is Australia. Miss Australia loves to travel, cycle, do yoga, and sometimes play poker. Please welcome Mexico! Miss Mexico enjoys hosting, runways, and loves charity events. Ukraine! Miss Ukraine's Hobbies include spending time with her family, traveling, discovering the world, and learning new cultures. Colombia! Miss Colombia enjoys exercising, reading, and loves to take care of environmental resources. Please welcome Russia! Miss Russia is a model and also enjoys volleyball. United Kingdom. This United Kingdom enjoys fashion, exercise, socializing with friends and family, and reading. Puerto Rico. Miss Puerto Rico loves to share all beautiful things with friends and family, spending time with children and the elderly, and she also serves. Sri Lanka. Miss Sri Lanka spends her free time watching movies and playing games. Welcome Ethiopia! Miss Ethiopia enjoys dancing, swimming, working, and outings. Next up is Thailand! Miss Thailand says she exercises every day and travels all over Thailand. Next up is Israel. Miss Israel's Hobbies include modeling, shopping, watching movies, and reading books. <laughs> Miss Indonesia! Miss Indonesia loves to travel in her spare time and sports.
Miss Haiti. Miss Haiti plays the violin, loves dancing and singing. Welcome Brazil! Miss Brazil is one dangerous lady as she loves to box. Cuba! Miss Cuba plays the piano in her spare time and enjoys dancing. Venezuela! Miss Venezuela is a big lover of nature and also enjoys meeting new cultures. Miss Japan! Miss Japan is a Japanese traditional sewer, loves traveling and reading. Welcome Miss Poland! Miss Poland enjoys collecting postcards, traveling, loves all kinds of sports, reading books and studying foreign languages. Next up is Canada! Miss Canada, in her spare time, enjoys the horseback ride, run, wakeboard, and is also a chess player. And finally, Peru! Miss Peru is an avid saxophonist plays softball, basketball, and tennis. Indeed, a big round of applause in their beautiful swimsuits. These are our top 20 finalists in their swimsuits. Come on, guys, put your hands together. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, before we announce the top 10 finalists, let's take a quick look at the rest of the activities. Yet another fun and colorful activity on their visit to Sukhothai, enjoyed by the 85 beautiful contestants, is organic farming, which took place at Sukhothai Airport. That afternoon, our Miss Grand International 2014 contestants got to show off their fantastic figures wearing BSC swimsuits with makeup by Covermark for all our beautiful contestants in the Top 25 Swimsuit Competition at the Sukhothai Heritage Hotel. Um, 
I think definitely my roommate, the United Kingdom, is going to get in the top five. I think maybe Australia has a really nice body um, and also Miss Brazil. Tonight, the Best in Swimsuit Award goes to... Miss Thailand! Congratulations again to the Best in Swimsuit Award, Miss Thailand! Absolutely stunning, guys. Yeah, a very well-deserved award right there. Congratulations once again. Now, time is flying by so fast. It is now time to announce our top 10 finalists. I'm so excited because everybody is so beautiful, but we only have 10 places left. Are you ready, ladies? Are you ready, guys? Do you want to know who's in the top 10, guys? Do you want to know? Yeah. All right, I think it's time to find out. Let's start with Miss. Our first top 10 finalist is Miss Poland. Colombia! Congratulations to Australia! Applause for Cuba. Our next top ten finalist is Ethiopia. And five more to go. Our next place goes to Thailand. Well done, Haiti. Places left. Our next goes to Russia. Yeah. 
Congratulations, Canada! Our last and final spot for the top 10 finalists goes to Indonesia. And here are your top 10 finalists, guys. Well done. Congratulations and thank you very much to the rest of the ladies. And right here, it is time to take a short break. When we come back, beauty and brains will go head to head and we will be one step closer to crowning Miss Grand International 2014. See you after the break, guys. Samplan Riverside. Dok Bua Kool. Plan B Media Public Company Limited. Following up the cultural activities in Sukhothai Province, all of our 85 beautiful contestants next travel to Nakhon Patom Province to experience the traditional Thai way of life at Sampan Riverside. Here, the lovely ladies had a great time and were very impressed with the unique Thai culture while also participating in the Best National Costume Award Contest. In addition to many special prizes, this year's winner of Miss Grand International 2014 will also receive the coveted crown and possession of an Ibiza condominium RCA unit for the duration of the one-year title. Welcome back to Miss Grand International 2014, guys. Thank you. During their 22 days here in beautiful Thailand, all 85 of our contestants have had an extraordinary time. Some amazing experiences in Thailand, and I'm sure it'll be something they will never forget. Well, you know, being half Thai, I'm actually very biased because we have so much to do here, so much to eat, and how did they manage to keep their beautiful figures? Wow. We have so much good food here. Well, have to exercise. All right, guys, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank some of our wonderful sponsors. Thank you to Sampran Riverside, Doc Bua Cool, Plan B Media Public Company Limited. Thank you. And it is now time to get to know our top 10 finalists a little more and hear their thoughts and opinions about war. And also, a very special show from the third runner up of last year's Miss Grand International. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Ali Forbes and our top 10 contestants. When there's nothing but a small glowing dream That your fear seems to hide deep inside your mind Oh Lord, I had to write silent tears through the pride in the world Grab around, take a hold of my heart. 
regardless of their age. And what is more, they are deprived of their dignity. Kapunka. Miss Colombia. Sawadiha. It's not our nation, excuse me, I don't speak English, I try. It's not our natural to do wrong. Our natural is to love. Why? <laughs> Why? No es naturaleza, no es nuestra naturaleza hacer el mal. Nuestra naturaleza siempre es hacer el bien porque nacemos de él. Entonces, ¿por qué no podemos cambiar el mundo? ¿Por qué no podemos mejorar nuestro gobierno? ¿Por qué no podemos mejorar nuestra política haciendo eh, lo que sabemos hacer como na personas naturales, el amor? Australia. an end to war because war causes the inevitable. It causes sadness, a loss of life, a loss of our future. Mankind must put an end to war before war puts an end to mankind. Kapunka. Cuba. Please, let's stop the war. War is pollution for our hearts. We must always live in peace, love, unity, and respect. Paren la guerra, por favor. Ethiopia. So 
Adika. I believe there are so many peaceful and diplomatic ways to solve conflicts instead of going to war. We all know the social, economical, and psychological consequences of the war. I believe love is the best, is the best medicine for this. If we all love and tolerate one another, I know we can solve this huge problem our world has today. So please, let's all stand together to stop the war. Thank you. Thailand. Please stop the war because first, every piece are back, then everybody will be happy, smile together, and friendship all the world. Thank you. Haiti. Sawadika. <laughs> Please stop the war for the children. Their lives are important, and they mimic everything that they see. So it is our job to teach them how to live peacefully. We cannot fail them. Russia. the war because universe is friendly and full of resources let's let's share thank you Canada good evening Sawadika please stop the war because no fight is worth any life we all deserve to live a happy life no matter what country we are from, or what we do, or what the color of our skin is, we deserve to live a full life. So let's stop fighting, and let's live the life that we were given. Thank you, Papunka. Indonesia. Sawadika. Please stop the war for all the loss of the souls that we have seen, for all the children that have died, and all the parents that have seen their children die in front of their eyes. Let's share a little bit of our joy and laughter behind all of their tears. Let's stop the war before the war destroy all of us. Kapunka. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again to our wonderful top 10 finalists. Some very interesting views on war and conflict here. Yes, indeed. And all absolutely beautiful. I do not envy the judges at the moment. Oh, a very difficult decision. Ladies and gentlemen, you may remember last year, we had a lovely, fabulous lady crowned Miss Grand International 2013. She had a very successful year with us. Yes, and beside being absolutely beautiful, she did her duty elegantly, traveling the world, being our advocate for the campaign, Stop the War. And tonight, she has graced us again. She is back on our stage here to say some short words to you. So please give a very warm welcome to Miss Grand International 2013, Miss Jane Lee Shapiro. Good evening, Thailand, and all over the world. For the past year, 
being the first Miss Grand International, which made me very proud on my duty to spread out the Stop the War message. I have the experience to meet different people who was affected by war and violence. That really touched my heart and made me able to share the happiness and support. During my year, I have the opportunity to join some charity events for children and do some fashion and entertainment. Thanks again for the best opportunity of my life. Tonight, I'm ready to turn the crown and duty to the next Miss Grand International for year 2014. I, I wish her the success to continue promoting the Stop the War campaign and other charity. And please give a warm welcome to the president of Miss Grand International, Mr. Nawat Isla Kaisin. of Miss Grand International, Mr. Nawat Isarat Raisin. Thank you once again to Miss Jane Lee Shapiro, Miss Grand International 2013. Absolutely wonderful. She will forever be in our hearts, Miss Sonia. Yes, we are moving on. It's getting really, really exciting and time is flying by so fast. It is now time to announce our top five finalists. Wow. Do you guys want to know who is in the top five finalists, guys? Do you want to know? And I think the ladies are really excited and nervous and we will be announcing them in no particular order. Are you ready? If you're ready, let's start with Miss. Our first top five finalist is Miss Columbia. Yeah. 
Are you ready? Ethiopia. Congratulations to Cuba. We have now passed the halfway mark. Two more spots left. Our next spot goes to Australia. And our final top five finalist of Miss Grant International 2014 is Miss... Miss Canada! And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our top five finalists. Congratulations. And thank you very much to the rest of the ladies. You have all been absolutely amazing. They're all beautiful. They're all beautiful in my eyes. <laughs> now, guys, we are getting very, very close to crowning Miss Grant International 2014, which we will do right after this break. See you soon, guys. Ibiza Condominium RCA Chatrium Riverside Hotel Bangkok AJ Set Top Box Welcome back to Miss Grand International 2014 We will very soon be crowning Miss Grand International. I'm sure we are all very excited, as we too are. Oh yes, and I'm sure the girls are really nervous as well. At the Certainly. Moment. Before we see our five finalists again, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank some of our lovely sponsors. Thank you to Ibiza Condominium RCA. Thank you Chatrium Riverside Hotel Bangkok and AJ Set Top Box. Thank you guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet these girls one last time, our top finalists for their last walk and final question. Please welcome the top finalists for Miss Grand International 2014.
as God has shown us, by turning stone to bread. And so we all must lend a helping hand. We are the world. We are the children. We are the one to make a brighter day. So let's start giving. Five finalists and their last walk. All absolutely beautiful. Stunning, I must say. But apart from beauty, of course, to be crowned Miss Grand International, you must have brains also. So, the question I'm about to ask will be considered as part of the judges' assessment for who will be crowned Miss Grand International this year. Now, each lady will have 30 seconds to answer the question. I will ask the question twice and twice only. Okay, guys? Yes, but before we do that, we do need a translator for Miss Columbia. So I would like to welcome a very, very special person. She is the first runner-up from last year's Miss Grand International. Please welcome Miss Chantel Martinez. Wow. <laughs> got a lot of fans here. <laughs> most beautiful translator I have to say indeed indeed okay guys this is the question if you were crowned Miss Grand International 2014 what would you do to prevent or reduce conflict and war okay one more time I'll repeat question. it again if you were crowned Miss Grand International 2014 what would you do to prevent or reduce conflict and war we would um, start with Miss Columbia okay. first, and then I'll ask Chantal ask Chant to translate. Como Miss Grand International 2014, ¿qué harías para prevenir y reducir las guerras mundiales y los conflictos? Bueno, buenas noches. Siempre he creído que la mujer tiene un papel fundamental en la sociedad porque desmadre forma hombres, hombres valiosos, hombres fuertes. Entonces creo que lo primero que haría sería trabajar con las mujeres para crear los futuros hombres de la sociedad, las futuras mujeres responsables, líderes, para mejorar el mundo. Porque creo que en la familia es donde se forma la persona. Si la persona no tiene las herramientas para luchar, no va a hacer nada y vamos a seguir en lo mismo, en guerra, en guerra. Necesitamos amor, necesitamos mujeres. Colombia said the best way for her to stop conflict will be with the family. It'll be, she says that a mother is the beginning of a family, that for them to stop conflict, she says she would concentrate on the family and that everything starts from a family. Wow. Thank you very much. Thank you, Miss Colombia. That was a lot to translate. <laughs> <laughs> I really couldn't hear. That's okay. We all heard you, though. Thank you to Miss Chantel. Thank you very Lovely. much. A big round of applause, Ms. Chantel Martinez. Next up to answer our question is Ms. Ethiopia. Yeah. 
Sadika Thailand. I'm going to answer this question by quoting my role model, Nelson Mandela. Human beings learn to hate, and if they can learn to hate, they can definitely be taught to love. For love comes more naturally to the human heart. That's what I believe in. So if I win Miss Grand International, I'm going to motivate as many people as possible to love one another. I know I by myself cannot stop the war, but I can make it better. By motivating people, I can make it better. And as Miss Grand International goes, five years, 10, 15, 20 years from now, I know one day we'll be lucky enough to stop the war. Thank you. Captain Ka. Thank you very much, Ethiopia. And now, Cuba. I hope you have all seen my heart today on stage because there I left it. If I were to win Miss Grand International, not only would I show one room of people, I would show the entire world what one person can do to make a change. We can use wonderful tools to make that change, like social media, visiting places to places to show the changes that we can make. With new ideas brought from everywhere all around the world, we can help make peace. Thank you. Thank you to Cuba. And next up to answer the question is Miss Australia. If crowned Miss Grand International 2014, I would use my experience with finance not to fund wars, but to fund peace projects. It's about listening, communicating, understanding what causes conflict, and then spreading our message of peace, love, and unity. Kopkun Ka. Thank you very much. Our last contestant, Canada. If I were crowned Miss Grand International, I would start by spreading the message about Stop the War and the awareness in our schools and communities to our young people because we all know that our younger generations will grow up to be our future leaders and if they are well informed then they will be able to continue and lead us to peace. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Canada. Now these are the answers from our five lovely finalists here. Before we get to know them even more, let's take a quick break and see some of the exciting activities that all of our contestants have been doing in Thailand. So please enjoy this VTR. In order to relax after their many activities, our beautiful contestants had a great time at the dinner party reception held at the Cha Triam Riverside Hotel where the lovely ladies got to show off their elegant figures in their extravagant evening gowns. Our beautiful contestants also enjoyed a super special private party held exclusively for Miss Grand International 2014 contestants. Now we are at this SOE River with a huge welcome from this, um, this restaurant with song, 
songs and many, many things. We are so excited to be here. We're so glad to sing her for their uh, generous sponsorship. And tonight we are all here to have a party. And after all the activities, it's now time to announce the Best in Evening Gown Award category. And the winner of the Best Evening Gown goes to... Miss Indonesia! Congratulations, Best in Evening Gown Award goes to Miss Indonesia. Congratulations, Miss Indonesia. We also have another special award to announce. This award is called the Best Social Media Award. It goes to the contestant who makes the best use of social media in order to promote Miss Grand International, also promote our cause, advocacy to stop the war and reduce all conflict around the world. So, the Best Social Media Award goes to Miss Japan. Congratulations to Miss Japan. All right, don't go anywhere because when we return, we will crown Miss Grand International 2014. Just hang in there. See you soon, guys. Blue Elephant Cooking School and Restaurant. PM Center. Gamon Cosmetic Hospital. Apart from the great many cultural activities, all of our beautiful contestants also participated in visiting various organizations, such as the Bangkok Broadcasting Television Channel 7. Gamon Cosmetic Hospital. as well as having exclusive Thai cuisine by Blue Elephant. This is my first time I have tried this coconut, and it was a very sweet and different taste from what we have in Sweden. Pattaya salad, yes, I like. All locations visited by the Miss Grand International 2014 contestants gave them the warmest of welcomes. Via social networks, the general public got to vote for their favorite contestant, which generated overwhelming interest. And now, it's time for us to announce the winner of Miss Popular Vote, which goes to... Cambodia! Welcome back to Miss Grand International 2014. Congratulations again to the Miss Popular Vote Award, Miss Cambodia. Congratulations. Now before we announce the results, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors, Blue Elephant Cooking School and Restaurant, PM Center Engine Behind Imagination, and Gamon Cosmetic Hospital. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the results are in. We now know who will be taking home the crown. Are you excited? How are you feeling, ladies? Are you ready to find out who will be Miss Grand International 2014? I do have the results in my hand. 
So here we go. The fourth runner up. Goes to Colombia. And the third runner up is. Miss Australia. Extremely exciting, I must say. Second runner up. Who will it be? Congratulations, Miss Canada. Now, guys, we only have two lovely ladies left on our stage. One of them will be crowned Miss Grand International. The name that I announce will be Miss Grand International 2014. The other lady will be the first runner-up and she will complete Miss Grand International's duties if Miss Grand International cannot complete them, complete them herself. So, let's crown Miss Grand International 2014, guys. Miss Grand International 2014 is Cuba! So that means that Miss Ethiopia is our first runner-up. Congratulations once again to Miss Cuba. She will now start her duties and travel the world to follow our advocacy Stop the War for the Miss Grand International Campaign, which includes all violence and conflicts. She will travel to more than 10 countries in the world during the course of this year. And I'm sure this will give her many wonderful experiences in life. Wow a very worthy Miss Grand International, I must say. Stunning and also very, very smart. She'll be spreading the word, stopping all wars and violence and conflicts around the world this year. Congratulations once more. Thank you very much to our panel of judges. Thank you everybody for coming here this evening. And thank you to all of our 85 beautiful ladies. Guys, put your hands together. Absolutely fabulous. Yes. We will see you again next year. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sonny Cooling. I'm Matthew Dean. And from us all at Miss Grand International 2014, Sawadee Khan! Sawadee Khan!